welcome, welcome, welcome family. Hey fam, I hope you are doing great today. And please, here in today's video, I am going to show you how I made this ninth club party poster right in Photoshop. I really thank you very much for clicking to watch this video and I hope this video helps you in any way possible. So without wasting much time, let's get it started. Okay guys. Welcome to Photoshop guys. All I'm going to do is to start by creating my web page for my design. All I'm going to do is to take an A4 web page. This is because I would love to bring this design out in the future and also the web page is very natural to suit my workflow. From there for the background, I am going to create a gradient combination just as you are seeing it. I want it in the radar form so I'll put style on radar. I have already saved this gradient so I'm just going to show you the nature of it. It is going to have, just as you are seeing it, a deep blue at the outer part and a light blue at the inner part. So this is so cool for my um, work background and I love it so much just as you are seeing. From there I just made the inner part spread nicely using the angles and this is the fill I want to start with. Okay guys, so from there I have left a link in the description just in case you would want to access these stock images I am going to use here. So I brought in this image right here just as you are seeing it, positioned it at the top of the page and enlarged it to fill um, the page half more half of the page just as you're seeing it and this is way cool from there i'm going to just make it blend into the background so i just went to the blend mode and place it on hard light i want it harsh and this is the feeling i'm getting and i love it i love it so much from there i just gave it a layer mask because i don't want to leave the sharp edges hanging and disturbing the design process and so I just took my brush and brushed it away just so that it fades and blends nicely into the background just as you're seeing it. This is awesome and this is awesome. From there I don't want how realistic the picture is looking so I just went to gush and blur and all I'm going to do is to blur it out just so that it doesn't look real so that you won't see it as it was I mean in its state. I mean it's original state. That's it. That's it. That's it guys. So from there I went to my resources, brought in this I how should I name it? Wall um let's name it wall image. So this wall image onto the page just as you're seeing it. I just positioned it nicely, okay, and I'm just taking an angle from the image, just making sure that it covers the top. So I mean I just want it to feel like um there is a wall right there. So this is okay. From there, I don't want this portion. So all I'm going to do is to mask it out. So just brushing it off, just brushing it off. The portion I don't want is what I'm cleaning. That is pretty easy. So this is okay. So we are done. We have what we want. And all I'm doing is to adjust, okay, um, the image right there and just bringing it down. And it is way easy okay guys i don't want to confuse you guys so i just brought um the same wall image but then i used the lower part to fill the bottom of the web page just as you're seeing it so i'm just breaking some portion and putting um back onto the page just to make it feel cool on the page just as you're seeing it this is okay for my work and i love it so that's it and i don't always don't want how realistic they are looking so i just play it out a little bit to like five pixels just to get it um looking not all that clear and not all that in its original state or the, or the original state so that is what i do and this is pretty easy i am just going to copy the deep color code of this um, background gradient for the future i mean i'm going to use it along okay as we get along so i just copied it down and i am going Okay, from there, I'll create a new layer, which I am going to work on, okay? So, this new layer is going to contain some elements, which we are going to work on later on. Alright, guys, so from there, all I'm going to do is to take the bottom wall image, okay, and give it a color mode, which is in the hue and saturation, that will fit the background color. Okay, so I just um, went into the hue and saturation, and adjusted the saturation, the hue and the lightness just so that I get it matching the background color. I just want everything to be within the background color. Okay, so everything you are going to see on this uh, poster 
is going to be inside the background color just matching with the background color okay we are going to blend everything into the background color and this bold i term it the blending background method okay this is pretty easy and you will understand as we get along so i just applied the same hue and saturation to the top of the um the top wall image just as you are seeing at the top like that it is looking that violet but you can adjust it if you are just practicing and i mean it it won't matter as we get along because i'm just going to fade um some dark blue just as you are seeing it i'm just fading it around okay i'm just brushing it around it sorry not fading i'm just brushing the dark blue the deep blue around the images just as you are seeing it which is for the background okay so this is the feel i just want on the page i want everything to be in the blues okay like the blues okay guys so this is what we have i just close the la layer of um what we just brushed on and all i'm going to do from here is to bring in this speaker okay so i just brought in this speaker because um it is a nice club and i don't know um what else will make it feel like it is a nice club okay so i just decided to bring in a speaker so this is a speaker i just made a duplicate of it sent it to the other side which is the left side flipped it so that it looks the other way just so that they look together they look at their faces just as you're seeing it from there i'll send it behind the wall because it should be behind the wall just as you're seeing it okay so from there i'm going to give it um a dark mode and i just went to the levels just to make it dark okay just to feel like um everything is dark right there on the page just as you're seeing it okay so everything is going to be dark and that is what i want the background to be okay guys so that's it and i don't like how realistic the um speakers are looking so i just bled it out um just a small amount and i applied the same blur effect to the other speaker and this is pretty easy guys okay i just brought back the eye of the brush the deep blue brushing okay that we made okay that's actually made and this is way cool it is too deep so i just reduced opacity okay a little bit a little bit a little bit a little bit okay guys so this is way cool and i just love um how we are beginning and i hope you are taking your lessons as well so from there i went to my resources just to bring in the men of god I just said man of God. <laughs> I'm really sorry. These are uh, let's name them um um the artists, okay. The artists. I just brought in the artists onto the page. I just didn't say man of God. Okay guys. Um I just brought in the artists just making sure that um they lie behind uh, right behind um the first man just as you're seeing it and this is way cool all right guys so from there all i'm going to do is to brush some light behind them just so that it feels like they are uh, there's a light popping behind them okay so that's it i went to the layer uh, i went to create a layer right below all of them and i'm brushing it with the light blue just because i want everything to be bluish and the center to be lighted okay just as you're seeing it so i just created uh, my light blue so they are in that form just to make it brighter okay so that's it just as you're seeing it so this is way cool for my design i just want lights to be popping inside of the design and it is making things really easy to i mean explain okay so this is pretty cool and from there I, I brought in this um speakers again and this is because i want it to feel i actually want them to feel like there are speakers all over i mean almost all over the design and this is way cool so i went right behind the wall okay and for some reason i brought this light behind the wall just to make the wall look somehow um not down i just brought it there just to feel like there is a blue light coming behind the wall image just as you have seen it 
so um this is way cool this is like way cool to me like seriously i love the design process and this is it this is what the feeling i actually want for the design so from there i brought in this speaker okay and as i always do um for the images i just blur them on but this one this particular one um i felt uh, i should make it realistic so it is not always i'm with it is not always that you should blur everything on the page you should sometimes make some look realistic just so that um people are able to identify the uh, actual image or actual photo okay so from there i just created a new layer and i'm brushing um at the bottom okay i'm just brushing the deep blue color at the bottom just so that i get it uh, faded nicely with deep blue and also um i'm just trying to create some uh, mode to add my text okay so this is way cool okay i'm just going trying to try to make a mode just so that i can add my text and this actually is a trick you should be using and it will help you um, make your text pop out nice on the page just as you're seeing it this is pretty easy and as we get along we are going to just make adjustments but then this is way cool all right guys so from here um all i'm going to do uh, is to create this lightning system around the images we have just imported so i'm just going to create a solid color which is going to have this light blue and this is it okay so this is the light blue and i'm just showing you the first step okay and i'll show you another step and the rest won't be shown okay guys so this is it all i did is to press ctrl plus i okay just to invent the layer mask okay so after inventing the layer mask all i'm going to do is to take the brush tool and just brush the lights that i have just invented back on the parts i want okay so i'm just starting with the speaker because i feel like the speaker is going to also have some light rays okay showing on it because of the light that is coming behind the man of god and this is the concept i had in mind okay so that is it so if this first speaker is having the same um uh, it's having the light rays on it then the other one should have the same light rays just as you're seeing it so this is way cool and easy guys so from there i'll take the first man of god just as you're seeing it and i'll paste the same color code this is a solid color all i'm going to do is to create a clipping mask and just invent the layer mask just as you're seeing it so after inventing the layer mask i'll just take my brush tool and just make sure um to brush the light on just to make it feel that the light that is popping behind all of them is actually um creating some um, rays i mean light rays with blue which is blue light rays are uh, on their edges okay this is making some sense i mean i hope this is making some sense to you guys just trying to make it explainable and understandable okay so this is it so that is what i actually did and um that was the motive for it and this is way easy so that's it i just applied the same effect to the rest of the models on the page just as you're seeing which is um the artist okay on the pages as you're seeing this is pretty easy so that's it that is what we are having on the page and this is how far we have come guys so this is cool i love it i love it i just hope you love it from there for some reason i just would love to give this um the two models behind um the first man uh, i just love to give them this hue and saturation just for some reason just so that i get them also feeling just like the background okay because i i said in the beginning that um uh, i everything is going to be uh, in the background color mode okay so this is it it is not the exact color because when it becomes the exact color it will look weird so i made it a bit deep just as you're seeing it okay just to make it look nice all right guys so this is what we're having on the page and i love it already 
So all I'm going to do is to just take this light blue and create this nice um, light on the page. From there, I just put it on screen just to get the light popping nicely as you are seeing it. This is pretty easy. Okay, guys, this is what we are doing and this is what we are having so far. So this is the concept and this is how I made this design and we are going on. From here, all I'm going to do is to just create this camera roll effect for all the men of God. I just said men of God for all the models. So I always use models, guys. Models. So all the models and the motive is to just make them look very nice and attractive. That's it. From there, I have these particles and I can't create um, these designs without the particles. Okay. So anytime I bring particles, then I'm going to just make the. Uh, I'm just going to make the design look scratchy just so that I make it look um, like there are, there are particles on it just as you are seeing it so this is pretty cool okay I think it's pretty cool and I just wanted it to look brighter so I just made a duplicate and this is way easy guys easy very easy so this is it this is all for um, the background should I say the background because I really have the models in it so I just don't know how to name it so this is all for it this is all for it and if you're able to design up to this far I think you are done so the rest is how you arrange your text on the page okay and I think with this kind of design or this type of design every text is going to pop out nice I mean text color is going to pop out nice because with white it is going to pop out nice and with light blue it is going to pop out nice and also with yellow it is going to pop out nice okay so um you're going to get some colors that are going to pop out nice on the page unlike some designs that um you'll find it difficult so with that you have to just go and create shadows and all those long poses there is no need to create shadows with this um kind of design and it is pretty cool and easy and uh, for text arrangement pretty cool and easy for text arrangement as well so that is it this is how I created it and if you are able to create the background I mean um, the entire design before adding the text um, you are done you are done because the rest of the text addition will be um, a no problem to you okay guys so this is it I am just speed adding everything um, just as you are seeing it and this is way Cool. So I will catch you when I'm done typing all the details in the speed app. In the speed app. Okay, guys. See ya.
So welcome guys, we are done typing all the details and from here all I'm going to do is to press Ctrl Shift Alt E to bring the overview of the poster we have just made. From there I'll go into camera raw filter and this is to uh, help enhance the colors on the poster and I did this by increasing the tint and just reducing the temperature and all the features and this is always adjustable and you can always adjust it to your liking and taste and this is going to bring us a different outcome all together so this is what we are having and this is how you create a party poster like this in photoshop i hope this video helped you i really thank you very much for clicking to watch this video and please if this video helped you don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the post notification please decay the boat and i'm out peace